my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Baxter, as well as my volunteer Trudy and her handler Chester. So what we're going to be doing today is some polite greetings in the middle of the patio today. Now polite greetings are really nice to have because you want to be able to approach people with other dogs without worrying if your dog's going to start jumping or getting too excited. But it's also important because it lets us practice our loose leash walking as well with another dog, which is a huge distraction. Now just like always, the rules that we're following are no pulling, no dragging, and no sniffing the ground. And for the polite greeting, the dogs are expected to either sit or down beside us. They're not allowed to approach the dog, not allowed to touch noses. Really important. Now, Baxter, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and walk up to Trudy here. Sit. Baxter, sit. Yes. Now for filming purposes, we're a bit diagonal here. I'm going to step to the side. Wait. And you see Baxter sitting very politely. He's parallel to my feet. I'm going to go ahead and step back up. Yes. Wait. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Nice. We're going to start walking. Baxter, let's go. Good job. Both dogs have a really nice pace going. I'm going to go ahead and meet Trudy in the middle again. Up. Where are you going? Up. Where are you going? Baxter, sit. Yes. Good boy. Wait. I'm going to go ahead and yes. reward him. That was a really beautiful sit. Wait. A and you see Chester's today is going to be working on, in addition to the polite greetings, we're also working on increasing that distance between him and his handler. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. But you see both dogs are sitting politely. No one's trying to sniff each other. Really nice. Baxter, let's go. We're going to do that one more time. Baxter, sit. Good job. You can see yeah. Baxter sitting very nicely. Wait. That was pretty good. He rocked back sick, but he went back. Really nice. Much better sit from Chester. And that was great from both dogs. Let's go. As you can see, both dogs weren't trying to sniff each other. They weren't trying to walk over to another. There's definitely some things that we can work on. Hmm. Baxter's walking does need a little bit of fine tuning and as you can see Chester does struggle a little bit with that distance between him and his handler but overall great job from both dogs today. Let's go.